I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0. With me today is Chad Finn. Well, Chad, it was a very nice weekend for the Red Sox. Very successful. They got the whole package. They got the starting pitching that's been lacking, and they got some. They swung the bats very well. Uh, is this for real? <laughs> I thought it was for real when they went six and one on that road trip yeah. before. I, I don't know. Minnesota was the kickoff. It was. Right. Cleveland's a little better than that, at least. So yeah, three out of four. First, first place, place team, Indians. That's right. Uh, Such but as it is. I'm not buying anything with this team until we see it over a longer stretch. No, no. But the, at least the formula was was there. You know, let's let, let's get serious. All this conversation, everything is conversation if you don't have good starting pitching. Right. Everything else is irrelevant. You're not going to slug your way to a championship. You cannot find me a team that that has done it ever. That at least not in the in, in post World War II. I can't think of anybody. And don't give me the Pirates. Uh, they had some pitching too uh, back in '71. That lumber company. So anyway, uh, the pitching has settled in uh, at the bottom of the rotation. It's right. the bottom of the rotation that won these three games, right? So we need the top of the rotation to, to uh, uh, start pitching the way it's capable of doing. And if and but it's going to start with that. It does. You got Beckett and Lester coming around. Uh, a little bit of uh, heat on Beckett lately, mm -hmm. from uh, what we you think so. Uh. <laughs> So this is a big one for him. Uh, and the other thing is you get Dice K coming back, and uh, logically it's, it's Bard or Dubron yeah. who's going to leave the rotation. I want both those guys in there. Well, I do, too, particularly when uh, Dice K is not even close to being ready, according right. to his own manager, who is uh, the guy has the most invested now because he claims he knows Japanese pitchers. Uh, let's, uh, we have to take a temporary salute. What a job by Daniel Nava to come up and, and, and start. I never and, thought I'd see him here again. I'm so happy for him. I was thinking about him a lot in the last two years about how he had that meteoric thing and then he's back there in Pawtucket and you're not hearing a word about him. Yeah. Didn't hear a word about him. Uh, Chad's right. We need to see a lot more. A year ago they had hit on May 15th their 500 mark and never looked back. It's not going to happen that same way and there's no guarantee they're going to go anywhere near, anywhere near close to the playoffs. But at least they're playing respectable baseball. You have to start somewhere.